welcome to this sofa session in which we're going to take a look at Tolo Marton's Alpine Valley. In this YouTube tutorial, we're going to take a look at the three main ideas he uses throughout a piece of music. You definitely want to go back there and have a listen to the original um, as because as he repeats ideas, he obviously kind of slightly adapts them. and He's got very improvisatory feel to the whole piece. Um, so definitely go and check out the, uh, the original as well. So first section goes like this. Starting on the fifth fret on our B string, we pull off to the fourth fret, and then we slide up from fourth to sixth on the B string, and then we come down to the sixth fret on the D string. Next part of the phrase, come down, we're on the D string, so we come down to the 4th fret and we roll from the 4th fret on the D string to the 4th fret on the G string. One time. And then we go back, roll back up to the 4th fret on the D string and we slide up a tone to the 6th fret there. The whole phrase. Oops. And the last part of this phrase we come back to the 4th fret there on the D string and we slide down to the 2nd fret and then we do the same shape but this time I start on the 4th fret on the A string. Whatever fingers com fingering is comfortable to you. open E string and we repeat the first part of the phrase again. And then when we get to this bit we roll down to the 4th fret but this time we slot, we go up to the 6th, we fret the 6th fret as well. And the last part of the phrase performed much quicker. So I've put those all those ideas together. Part of the phrase on the we play the open E string, low E string, second fret on the E string, fourth fret of the E string, second fret on the A string, then open A. Then we have this little sliding pattern. So we start so that little phrase there. 6th fret on the B string and we slide down to the 4th. You can play them as pull-offs. Fine as well. And you have to play the notes at the B, the B there. Tolo does several different things when he plays this phrase. So the basic, the basic little pattern he does is, it's just slide up from the B. It's on the second fret there to the fourth fret, and then he repeats the pattern. And then on the repeat, you could play it as like a little power chord. 
been playing as this little four, these fourths here, these two notes together. Whatever takes your fancy. So that the whole second phrase. final phrase of this first section he hits the low E string and then and he plays a little chord so we've got our second finger yep yeah, ready to go there on the fifth fret our first finger on the fourth fret of the E string and our pinky our little finger there on the seventh fret on the E string it's got like a little bar shape going on there and we hammer on and off here So, got that little shape there, hammer on and off here, with your second finger, hammer on or slide, whatever you prefer. So that slide is four to six on the B string, and then we end up here on the sixth fret of the D string. And then to finish this phrase off, we bar at the fourth fret there. So we're barring, plucking these three strings here. So we've got our G, our G, B and D strings. And then we finish off with a hammer on. And then, so our first finger goes up a semitone, lands on fret five, and our third finger there is going on to the sixth fret of the D string. And to finish it off, harmonics at the twelfth fret. So the whole thing together sounds like this. section of the tune goes like this. So for the second section then we start with just playing a B bar chord at the seventh fret. And we've got a little picking pattern going on the right hand. And we're picking the bass string. And at the same time, we're plucking our um, B string at the bottom, our B string at the bottom there. And we're just doing simply very simple doing a little picking pattern. So So that's those two together, then the D, G, B, and then back down again, like a little arpeggio. And then all we do is we slide down to the chord of A, or the fifth fret, repeat exactly the same thing. And then we finish off with this little dual stopped chord. If you want to, you can kind of pluck the low E string at the same time as so we're at the seventh fret there on the D string and the B string, and we quick slide up to the ninth fret. We hold it. Okay, so those two those bits there are once more. And then do 
something similar, but instead of B major, we're going to go into a B minor seventh chord. And the picking back and pattern is slightly different on this one. So we pick our B, low B, and the B there as well at the same time. So we've got a B minor seventh chord. So it's just three down strokes there. So B string holding our B minor seventh chord. We've got B, G, D. And then we slide down to the A chord. Play that one as we played it the first time round. And then we have our slide up again. This time to finish it off, we come back down, yeah, to the seventh fret where we started, and we finish it off here. So that is first finger, fifth fret on the B string there, and second finger, sixth fret on our D string. Put that, that all those bits together. That is this entirety of the B section, or that second section. And then the B minor seven. So the final little section to learn, learn there's a little link section. And we've got a G bar chord, G7 chord there. And we've got a little finger off here because we're gonna hammer on and hammer off this um, fret sixth chord. So that's the fifth fret. So there's my, there's my chord and my finger's ready to come on and off, hammer on and off. Slides up to the hook to a chord of A and repeats the same thing. So yeah, let's do that one more time. So that's going from quiet to loud to crescendoing through. And then at that point he takes off into his solo. Um, so uh, he's soloing using, very simply, E major pentatonic scale. But you can have a play around with that and have a listen. So those are the three uh, main ideas that are used in the piece of music. Um, as I said at the beginning, you've got to listen to the original. As he repeats different sections, he'll play and phrase things very slightly differently um, and sort of just, just play around with it a little bit which adds that kind of lovely uh, improvised kind of vibe to the piece. It's really nice. I have fun jamming along and playing with the solo. Um, and also, I guess, try and, uh, try and uh, sort of play around with the tone a little bit. He's obviously uses all sorts of things there. He's got some kind of, um, obviously lots of, he's got a bit of delay on there, some reverb, um, and he has a vibrato effect that he uses as well in parts in the solo. But it is a great fun tune. Um, so have fun playing around with it. Thank you.